Hi, this is uh, Dan again. I'm just coming back to you with uh, some more information about this uh, this fruiting chamber uh, I'm using to grow mushrooms. And uh, we've got a day here in Perth, Western Australia, uh, where we're, we're looking at temperatures right now of around about 40, 42 degrees. Uh, so I've got a, a little thermometer here that um, that's in my air intake. You just see it in the background here and that's reading uh, 41.8 okay uh, it's just dropped down I've opened up the garage door it was really hot in here about 43 40 just over 43 degrees I've opened up the garage door to let in some fresh air and uh, it's dropping uh, it's dropping down it's down to 40 40 41.6 right now anyway so I just want to show you what the air intake uh, is doing when um, when that fresh air, after that fresh air, that 40, uh, 41.5 degrees, I'll get in closer so you can actually see that. That's it there. 41.5, it's down to. Okay, so we're gonna put that uh, in, in here, which is the, uh, the exhaust, and there's a bunch of little this is a heat exchange unit. There's a bunch of little metal tubes that are hollow in there. And uh, the exhaust, the cold exhaust air is coming through those metal tubes, cooling down the, uh, the metal. And then the, uh, the fresh air, the hot air is blowing over those metal tubes. Okay, and what I'm finding is, I tested this this morning because I knew it was going to be a hot day today. I tested it this morning and after insulating the pipes again this morning did a little bit more work on this insulating the pipes and uh, making a few changes I was losing quite a bit of uh, cold air in the gap between the two doors on the on the fridge here as well and I can actually I can still feel uh, a bit of cold air coming through there now just on the fingertips uh, so even still we're losing some energy through that gap um, but what I've done is I've, I've put to try and close that door a bit harder I've got the shelves the old racking the old shelves from the fridge I've got those leaning up against the door to put pressure on the seal to try and keep that closed as best as possible and uh, and push as much cold air through through the exhaust to cool that that air intake and what I'm finding I'm getting is about a five degree drop so we'll take a look at that the reading before was uh, 41 and a half uh, it's now reading 38.7. That'll climb pretty quickly. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's already up to 30, 39, but it was 38.7 when I pulled that out. So um, it's not quite a five degree drop, but uh, but a, a drop of five degrees is, is quite a lot. I'm really, uh, really happy with that. Uh, means the system is, is working. The exhaust is definitely cooling down the, uh, the metal pipes and the heat exchange unit to uh, to reduce the temperature of the air intake and this morning I actually tested the air uh, inside the chamber here back back in the neck of the pipe yeah, I'll put the thermometer in, in here and left it there for a little while to uh, reach equilibrium with the, the air that's coming through and that that again confirmed that I'm getting uh, at least five degrees five and a half degrees uh, once the air has been through the heat exchange unit and before it enters the uh, the preconditioning chamber, I'm getting a, a drop of about five to five and a half degrees. Um, so even at this high temperature, uh, those that that um, the difference in degrees is is um, fairly stable. I want to say, but um, fairly consistent. Uh, I think um, I think I'm probably not getting as much of a drop at a, at a, at a higher degree. And as the temperature goes down, I'll get more more of a, a temperature drop. So I'll keep monitoring and just, just playing around with that to, to see what the actual performance of the system is, is giving me. So that's it for today.